the other knife I picked up on my way to the big knife gig. One of my returning customers bought a new knife about a year ago. She said, I want you to sharpen it. I know you've done all my other knives, but this one I didn't give you the first time. So I'm getting ready to take it back now. I'm then I'm going home. Where are we going? We're going to the button patch. But we're not going button hunting. We've been a big knife job across the street in the neighborhood. We're just going to ride over here and take a look, see what the button patch looks like. We ain't been here since last year. Stand by. We're coming up on a button patch. I want to see how bad it's grown up. Is the reason I'm coming over here. Uh, it's it's like a little jungle. Junglezilla. Not as bad as I was expecting it to be, though. I can tell you that. Huh. Let it get a little cooler. We might come back over here. Remember, this is a guy that builds boats. Big launch boats like this. Right now, it's building a big tugboat. In this building right here. We go check it out. 25 foot, huh? 25 by 19. <laughs> How many motors are you gonna have? Huh? How many motors? Two. Two. 500 horsepower? No, 300, 350 in this one. Oh, 700 horsepower. Yep. Yeah. Got a 25 foot boat. That used to be a big wooded in area when we hunted, when we came over here, if we wasn't looking for buttons. There's been some fairly nice re uh, relics found in that field. My buddy, a shark hunter, he found a nice pre-Civil War belt buckle in there. When they were building this place, you can't see it uh, right this minute because there's too many boats in the way, but somewhere there's a travel lift ramp and they found two gold coins in here. There's a travel lift right there. Right where we're going down through here, they found two gold coins in this spot. Well, it's van shelf moving day. Yesterday, I was, I was able to get this shelf out, the middle shelf out. That was the only one I could get these screws loose. Oh, I stripped this one out. So I took it back to the van guy today. He says, you got to have an impact drive with a number three bit like I got one in my pocket, right? Anyway, I got him to loosen the ones I want to move up. When I get them all in place, I'll show you where they are. What it is, I'm going to move this shelf right here all the way down. I'm going to put a platform out here and my sharpener is going to sit right here and I'm going to sharpen here. My chair will be right here. I'll give you a better picture when I get through. I'm going to raise that one up a little bit so I have more room. I'm going to build a little box like in here to catch all the dust and probably put a what do you call those things dust collector in there to pluck the dust that blow it out here at the back when i'm mobile for this next adventure we're going on stand by finally got finished i had to get chris to help me on this one with it being wide like that it, it kind of stretched out so i had to get her to push the sides in so i could line the shelves up so what we did we, lo we lowered this lower shelf two holes now my plan is to put a shelf right here come out about right here build a complete box a top and two sides and put a dust collector at the bottom of it and sharpen right here on my road trips that i'm getting ready to go on and maybe some mobile sharpening at people's homes like i did today but not get out of my truck 
I moved this shelf up two holes, put a bunch of little crap up there. I added the other shelf here, moved this shelf down, no aim it. I moved, uh, moved this shelf down two holes and put the shelf that was extra up there. So now I got four shelves here. I didn't mess with this, this section here at all. That carries most of my odd crap anyway. But see, now I, I got so much more room. As, I mean, I had a lot of room to begin with, but now I got more usable room. We'll see how it goes in the next week or so after I talk to my buddy Eddie, the wood guru. Mumbles man found a knockout ring. I don't know what day it was. Yesterday, maybe? Or this morning? I can't remember. I think yesterday. Iceberg fits every finger he's got. I mean, a nice the gold diamond taquito. I'll put some pictures in here so you can see it. It's a fine ticket. Now we got the two tables in. Actually, we got three tables. We got two six foot tables here, flat, that don't fold. Then we have a third table. With this COVID thing, we required to have a table in front of our work table so the people get separation from the people. This is a six foot folding table. It goes up here. And the tent, of course, is a tent, you know, it's like, I don't know, six foot long, seven foot long. It's in a case, a little plastic, I mean, a paper, you know, a cloth case with a zipper on it. It just slides in on top of these tables and there she goes. I'm probably going to put the tent over here on the side where the generator is. Just so it won't be sliding around on top of the tables. But that's it. The whole ball of wax. Except for the building the shelf. I'm ready to go again. For the farmer's market tomorrow. No, Wednesday. And the weather sounds good. I'll get back to you. All right, there's a Mumbles Man's nut. There's a yellow ticket. You can see it's fat and it's got a lot of ice in it. I like it. That's sort of ring that he wears on the left, and that's the one he found. He said it fits every finger he's got. And that's something? That's a nice taquito right there. Oh, look at that. That happened last night. A first. Can you believe it? 